His mocking gray eyes pin me to the spot. My eyes shift to my son, my pride and joy. The only good thing in my life. His good looks are definitely courtesy of his dad. He has my brown hair and his penetrating gray eyes. Hello. I give them a small smile. Hi, Mommy. Noah places his half-eaten sandwich down and jumps down from the counter. He rushes to me and hugs my midsection. I've missed you. Missed you too, my love. I kiss his forehead before he steps away from me and goes back to his food. I stand there awkwardly. This used to be my home, but now I feel out of place in it, like I don't belong. In truth, though, I never did. Knowingly or unknowingly, he built this house with her in mind. This was her dream house, everything down to the color scheme. That should have been the first indication that he wasn't planning on letting her go. That he wouldn't reciprocate my love for him. What are you doing here? He asks in annoyance and stares at his watch. You promised you wouldn't interrupt my time with Noah. I know. I got the divorce degree today and I thought I could bring you the copy while I pick up Noah. His face turns stone cold and his lips form a thin line. Every time he looks at me like this, a piece of me breaks. I've loved him since I can remember, but that doesn't mean a damn thing to him. Over and over, he has broken my heart and shattered my soul. I continued loving him, holding on, thinking things will change, but they never did. When we got married, I thought I would finally get love. The love I've been craving since I was a child. I was wrong. Marriage turned out to be a nightmare. I was always fighting with the ghost of his past. The ghost of a girl I could never measure up to no matter how much I tried. I rubbed my chest, trying to ease the pain that was encased there. It does no good. It still hurts even though we've been separated for months. Noah, could you go up to your room? Your mother and I need to discuss something. Rowan says through clenched teeth, the word mother slipping out of his mouth in disgust. Noah looks between us for a minute before nodding. No fighting. Noah commands before leaving. As soon as he is out of earshot, <gasps> Rowan bangs his fist on the counter in anger. His gray eyes are icy as he addresses me. You could have sent them to my damn office instead of interrupting my time with my son. The words leave his lips in a growl. His hands are fisted and he looks about ready to blow up on me. Rowan... I sigh, unable to complete the sentence. No, just no. You turned my life upside down nine years ago. You did it again when you asked for that damn divorce. Was it your way of hurting me? Separating me from my son because I couldn't love you? Newsflash, Ava, I seriously hate you. He's breathing hard by the time he's done. The angry words tumble out of his mouth like bullets shooting straight at me. I feel them pierce my heart, each word shattering my already fragile heart. I... What's there to say when the man you still love says he hates you? Just get out of my house. I'll bring Noah home when my time with him is over. I put the divorce decree down on the counter. I was going to apologize when my phone rings. I take it out of my bag and check the caller ID. Mother. I wanted to ignore it, but she never calls me unless it's something important. I swipe the screen and bring the phone to my ear. I sigh. Mother. Get to the hospital now, your father has been shot. She says almost hysterically before hanging up. My phone slips from my hand, I'm shocked. What is it? What is it, Ava? His voice penetrates my brain. Heart racing, I don't look up as I pick my phone and answer him. Father has been shot. Like and comment for the next part.